we have to continue pushing forward, improving on the training ground and making sure that we earn our results and we don't just expect them to turn around. Dan, it's never easy seeing a head coach relieved of his duties. How do the players take the news? Um, with great sadness, really, I think is, is the main um, feeling be be between all the group. Um, it's really sad when, when any manager loses their job, but especially one that was so highly respected as the gaffer was and is um, and will remain to be. Um, I think as players, obviously, we have to take a degree of responsibility for, 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 for the gaffer losing his job. Um, obviously, we're the ones that go on, on the pitch and, and try and, um, and enforce what we've, what we've been told to do in, in pre-match briefings and what we work on the training ground. And if we haven't executed that as, um, as correctly as, as possible, um, I think there's, there's a certain, certainly a degree of responsibility that, that lies with the players. And, and I, for one, certainly take a degree of that myself. Um, but it's, it's, you know, it's, it is sad that he's, he's lost his job and it wasn't for, for the want of, of trying or effort or endeavour or anything like that. Um, but football is a, is a results-based game and, and unfortunately, generally, what seems to be happening in football nowadays is that, that the buck stops with the manager. Um, and I think if you would have asked the manager prior to him taking the job, he would have understood that. Um, and you know, it, it hasn't worked out as exactly as we'd all like to, it, it to have done. Um, but you know, this is football. You're an experienced professional, Dan, and I'm sure you've seen managers you know, come and go before in, in, in previous clubs. What do you say to among yourselves as players when that happens? I think, like as I said, there we all, we all take some responsibility. Um, there was a good degree of sadness for everybody um, in the change rooms after the game, and over the last couple of days, obviously, we've everybody's had a, a chance to reflect. Um, but it's you know it's swiftly moving on to the next game, and I think we'll we'll all be looking to go out and, and give a response, um, and and do that possibly for for, for Dino, um, and give the the kind of performance that warrants us respecting him as a manager, um, which we all do. The change was made obviously for for a reason. Um, <coughs> can that now have a galvanising effect for you as players? That fine. The Dean Holden time has ended, and now you've got to kind of kick on. I think it has to. I think there has to be a response. Um, there had to be a response, regardless of whether the manager kept his job or not. Um, you know, obviously we all wanted him to keep his job. Um, the decision was made, and we now have to adapt and, and move forward. Um, there's no time for for um, for us to 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 mope in the moment. Um, the championship and its endeavours are, 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 are quick and, and fast coming at us. So we have to move on. We have to we have to bounce back. We have to show character. Um, and like I said, we we have to go in and put a um, we have to go in and put a performance on Saturday um, and one that warrants that of of the you know the last six seven games haven't been good enough. Um, and the quicker we do that, the quicker we can get some momentum building and move forward. Yes, was, was it the case that whoever was in charge? the Barnsley match, um, you do have to stop that run and turn things around. I mean, we tried against, against Reading. Um, obviously, we, we all know first and foremost that the, the, res, the result and the performance against Watford was completely unacceptable from, from an entire club's perspective. Absolutely not good enough. Um, and we all take full responsibility for that. Um, we tried to, to give as, as best response as we could against Reading. It wasn't to be. There was a, a five-minute spell in the end of the end of the first half where we lost the game um, and that's that's the be all and end all in, in that in that respect I, I feel because um, I think before that we showed we showed endeavour um, obviously the five minutes happened in the second half we we huffed and puffed didn't really give too much up in terms of opportunities but the game was dead by then and you know you can't give away a two goal lead in the championship and expect expect to come back and, and win games especially when you're not in a, in a rich vein of form um, obviously yes with regards to the question regardless of whether it was Dino or not in charge. Obviously, at the moment, it, it, it's Simo and Keith. Um, we have to respect that and we have to give that response like, like you mentioned there. Um, and that was always the aim, regardless of, of who was in charge or, or what the game plan was. Do you feel that the quality within the squad, regardless of you know, what's happened this season, COVID, managerial change, injuries, that you're good enough and I've got the... The, the skill and the technical ability to get out of this situation? We know we've got a quality squad, um, for sure. I think 
I mean, so much has been made of, of the injuries uh, that we've had and, and I certainly, for one, won't be using that as an excuse because I believe we've got the quality and depth to compete at this level. Um, however, yes, with, with our squad, with our ability, we should be in a better position than where we are. Um, and we should be showing more on the pitch and we should be getting certainly better results. We have to continue pushing forward, improving on the training ground and making sure that we earn our results and we don't just expect them to turn around.